Robert's charisma was quite enticing to the family. He was so suave. He seemed to have all of the charm. I fell in love with Robert because of his great attachment to me. Robert and I never crossed any lines. It was never physical. I did have a heartbeat for him. When Robert took Jan the first time, I wasn't overly concerned and worried because of Robert's devotion to our family, and I was certain he wouldn't do anything to harm Jan. You didn't know what he was doing. None of us did. No, we didn't. We didn't know his power, and his, his end result was you, and he was going to have you no matter what. Jan was gone for 38 days. When we got the call from the FBI that they had found her, we were ecstatic. We were completely shocked that she was in Mexico. When Jan returned, we tried to engage her in a conversation of why she left with Robert. She was very upbeat and said, we just went on a little vacation. We tried to ask her more questions, but basically she just shut down. Back then, you wouldn't probe a child about sexual things. We didn't press charges because there was no child abuse laws established in the state of Idaho. We tried to keep Jan away from Robert, but he was livid. So when Jan went missing a second time, we knew exactly who it was. I was so angry with myself, and I just wanted him to die. I blame myself a lot for the way things turned out. I felt had I listened to my husband, listened to the FBI, listened to a few others that said, no matter what he's trying to portray and believe, he's not a good man. Get your daughter out of his clutches. Well, Marion, thank you for being here and, and talking about this. When Jan went missing the first time, and you found out that it was with uh, this birch toll that he had taken her, were you surprised? I was surprised because she was, had, he, she was gone, but I wasn't surprised that she was with him. Did you think she was safe with him? Did you think he was going to hurt her, kill her? What, what did you no, think? I thought she, he was safe, that she would be safe, uh -huh. that he would take care of her, and for whatever reason, we didn't know why he had done that, but knew that he would not harm Jan in any way. It didn't occur to you that he took her for sexual reasons? No. When she came back, did, did you realize that she had been raped and molested by him? No. Nobody knew what a pedophile was in the 70s. Even our FBI agent had to look it up in the dictionary. Mm -hmm. Did you have feelings for him, attraction to him? I did have attraction to Mr. Birch told, um, and he knew that. He played on that a lot. Did you think it just wasn't that big a deal that he had taken her? Yes, because I had no understanding <laughs> about sexual abuse. When it happened the second time, did you feel differently? Oh, yes. Because now she's come back and she says she wants to marry and be with him. Oh, I, I was sick. 